Welcome to Standing for Jesus Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm going to stand up and praise his name. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. So I'm so glad he died for me. And now thanks to him I've been set free. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise his name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now let us hear the word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. Lenny Hall Income Tax and Accounting. Call 377-2633. And by Nelson Fraser Funeral Homes. With offices in Martin and Hyman. Call 285-5155. I remember the night at the end of my road in a motel in Nashville searching for home. And my hand was the Bible I read as a child. On the table was a bottle that was driving me. And I poured the whiskey into the glass and prayed it would help me forget my past. And I read how Jesus died on the tree. I poured out the whiskey. Down on my knees. That night, old Jack Daniels met John 3:16. God's word broke the hold that he had over me. I traded Tennessee whiskey for cowboy. That night, old Jack Daniels met John 3.16. Now when I see those old friends that I used to know, Word broke the hole that he had over me. I traded Tennessee whiskey for Calvary's tree. That night, old Jack Daniels met John 316. That night. to welcome you back today to Standing for Jesus Ministries. We're truly thankful to have another opportunity maybe to come in your homes and say something that might uplift you or to say something that might 
turn you towards God if you're lost and undone. And, and it seems like we've had a lot of battles ourselves today. And it seems like the devil's fought us all day, if I'm going to put it that way. But you know something? The Bible says, Greater is he that is in one of his children than he that's in the world. Amen. And we begin to ponder on the message. We went through the scriptures. And, Lord, what would you have me to preach today on the program? And I know we preach on trials and troubles and stuff a lot. But that's what we're facing out there every day. People are ready to just throw up their hands and quit. People's ready, you know, what's the use in going on? I, I felt that way myself a few times, but nevertheless, I know deep down inside that as long as I got Jesus, then I'm a winner. Amen. You know, you can leave this world with nothing in your life, nothing to show for your life, nothing, but you're still a winner in Christ because He has prepared a place for us. Amen. We're going to read scriptures, 12th chapter of Hebrews. Very first verse, it says, Wherefore, seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. For the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, and ye have forgotten the extortion which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For when the Lord, whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth, every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, God dealeth with you as sons. For what son is whom the father chasteneth not? But if you be without chastisement, all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons. For as much we have had our fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and gave them reference, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Amen. And this we begin to read that earlier today, our minds begin to wonder that listen, if we'll look on to Jesus, things bad are going to happen. Amen. But God is always there with us and my friend, be for sure that the devil's not going to help you out of a situation. He's only going to knock you down more. Amen. And we also begin to think how the scripture says that, listen, if we deal with God, and God deals with us as children, and he's going to let us know when we're in the wrong. Amen. And sometimes it's not always what someone else does. Sometimes it's what we do. Amen. And when we begin to realize that, and we begin to realize that, Listen, God is the father of fathers. If you're a child of God and listen, God goes to correct you, it's a good thing, amen? Listen, I'm made to believe that when your troubles and trials come against you, I listen and you start getting closer to God, then that's good for you, amen? Listen, because I'm made to believe according to the word of God. Listen, he said that never promised us, Brother Brian, that everything would be so easy all the time. But he did promise us that he'd be there with us every step of the way. He would never leave us, never forsake us. I listen, and I begin to think about a man. A one time, listen, oh Joseph. I listen, oh Jacob had 12 sons. Hey Amen. I listen, and the Bible says that Joseph, I listen, was a son of his old age. I listen, and he showed favoritism to him. I listen, now the scripture says that he showed favoritism. Amen. I listen that he loved him so much. I, I listen that the other brothers begin to get jealous. Amen. I, I listen and they, I, I listen. I, I'll make a short story short. I, 